Welcome back. Today I'm going to be making three decadent cocktails for the holidays, and I'm sure you guys are going to love them. Creamy cocktails, incredibly rich, intensely flavored drinks. I've got only just the four ingredients. Nice and simple across these three cocktails. It's not really overcomplicated. I've got Mr. Black cold brew coffee liqueur, Gosling's black seal rum. Of course, if you don't have this particular rum, you can use another aged rum. It'll still work perfectly well. Uh, Kettle One vodka. I'm sure you've got a vodka at home. You don't have to use Kettle One, you use something else. And then Bailey's, everyone's got a bottle of Bailey's at home, or maybe your mum or your dad has a bottle hiding away in the back of their cupboard that's been sitting there for a while. So rich, decadent cocktails, perfect for holidays. Stay tuned. And if you are missing any of the bottles from today's video, you can check out my link in the description below. I've recently partnered with Curiata.com. They source hard to find spirits and liqueurs. They've got a huge range. They're competitively priced. There's a long list of spirits and liqueurs that have free shipping. And you can also use my coupon code Steve to get $5 off. There's plenty of Mr. Black cold brew coffee liqueur packs on there as well. So I highly recommend checking them out. But let's get back to the video. So the first cocktail I'm going to start with is the Cafe Con Leche. It's probably the richest, the most decadent of them and the most complex cocktail. The reason I do the air quotes is it's it's really not that difficult. It's five ingredients, six plus garnish. It's a flip, so it's got egg, but it's flipped with a difference because it's only got the egg yolk rather than the whole egg. So it's going to provide richness and then you've got a rich full bodied rum, Gosling's Black Seal Rum. Uh, this one sits 80 proof, I believe. Mr. Black Cold Brew Coffee Liqueur. Today's video sponsor, thank you guys for jumping on board for the video today. Delicious coffee liqueur. You guys all know that. I know that. I've used it quite a few times in the videos in the past. And so rum, coffee, nicely, nice pairing there. Uh, a little bit of sweetener and, and cream. So it's going to be rich, decadent, and excellent cocktail to start with. Uh, straight into the drink. So we're going to measure out one ounce, 30 ml of Gosling's Black Seal Rum. So the Cafe Con Leche is Spanish for coffee with milk. Really quite simple. So they drink in Spain and Latin America, as far as I know, from what I've read, but it's specifically espresso and steamed milk. So like a latte, but I think the proportions are different. So I think it's more equal parts of espresso and steamed milk. So it's really quite a strong coffee. Then we've got three quarters of an ounce, 22.5 ml of Mr. Black cold brew coffee liqueur. As I said, rum coffee. The recipe up here will show simple syrup, three quarter ounce, 22.5 ml. So one to one sugar to water ratio. Uh, this is a two to one, so I'm gonna lower it down to half an ounce, 15 mil. Just so you know, that's why my measurement now is different to what's on the screen. What's on the screen is your original recipe. Now we've got 15 mil, half an ounce of heavy cream, full fat cream, add that straight in. So this cocktail was a creation of Sam Ross, found in the book, A Spot at the Bar, but weirdly enough, like when I searched online, there's, I couldn't find any other information about it. And which is weird for a Samaros cocktail. Like he, he made the paper, paper play and penicillin, all those cocktails are really well known, except for this one. Strange, but it sounds delicious. It's just a, a coffee flip, essentially. So separate the white from the yolk and add the yolk in, a little bit of white there. And then add plenty of ice into your shaker. Because of the egg, you want to give it a hard shake, 10 to 12 seconds. into a chilled coupe or a stemless vintage cocktail glass, whatever you've got on hand, and double strain to make sure you don't get any of those ice shards in there. Ooh, that's thick. As with other flips and nogs, garnish with grated nutmeg. And there you have Sam Ross's Cafe Con Leche. Cheers. That is really good but it doesn't have as like it's it's thick and it's rich and it's full flavored but it doesn't have quite as much texture as a flip because obviously you don't have the egg white in it but it's got the richness from the yolk this is dangerous because you've got almost two ounces of, of liquor between the rum and the mr black gold brew coffee liqueur but you definitely can't taste it, it tastes really quite smooth but still rich yeah on to cocktail number two, I'm doing the White Russian. I think I have done this on the channel a long time ago, but the old bar that I used to work in back when I was like 18, so like 20 years ago, oh, oh, yeah, I'm old, guys, a long time ago. We just made it with coffee liqueur, vodka, equal parts, and milk, where there's, I mean, that's kind of how the dude did it in the Big Lebowski. I think he used like a carton of half and half, so half 
half cream, half milk. But yeah, today I'm doing it with full, full fat cream. So it's gonna be rich and even more decadent. So I'm excited about this one. And rather than mixing it through like I have in the past, uh, I'm gonna lay it on top and make it look beautiful. So I'm gonna start by, no, I'm gonna measure first and then I'll add the ice to the drink. Whatever, you can add ice first if you like. Uh, I'm gonna do 1.5 ounces, 45 ml of vodka. I'm using kettle one. Made in the glass, less dishes, super quick and easy. 30 ml, one ounce of Mr. Black cold brew coffee liqueur. Now I'm definitely gonna prefer Mr. Black in a white Russian, more, more coffee flavor. If you do like it a little bit sweeter, then you can always put like a bar spoon or a quarter ounce of simple syrup in here, but I like like a dry, like more bold coffee flavor. So, Mr. Black. Then fill it up with ice. Mind you, I'm trying not to fill it up so that the ice is to the brim of the glass because I wanna lay the cream on top and have just a smooth, flat plane of cream without any ice sticking out, just for aesthetics, I guess. A little squeezy bottle to make it nice and easy to, to layer the cream and pour it in those nooks and crannies. So, I mean, the recipe that I came across said one ounce, 30 mil, but I'm definitely gonna add a lot more cream than that. <laughs> All right, that's, that's gone a bit far. That's a lot of cream. Didn't layer as nicely as I was expecting it to. I probably should have given it, I, I should have shook on it. Cat, should I shook, should, should I shook on it? Should I do it again? Should I shake on it? I should shook on it. I'm going to shook it, guys. I'm going to shook and... <laughs> I'm going to do a side-by-side -side to, you know, here we go. Here's an experiment. I'm going to do a side-by-side -side to experiment and and show you the difference between the shaking cream when it's a little bit thicker. See if it makes a difference. It will. Same glass, same measurements. Vodka. Mr. Black. Plenty of ice. Thickening the cream. Giving it a shake. There we go. I've shook in the cream. Should be nice and thick, aerated. I experiment. Great success. I'm actually really glad that I've that up in the first place because I wouldn't think the difference would be that exaggerated simply by shaking the cream for 10 seconds and just aerating it a tiny bit, but yeah. So that's really nicely defined. Get rid of that rubbish. <laughs> and they have a white Russian. Cheers. There's a lot of cream. That was mostly cream, but there's rich coffee in there. I mean, the vodka is just like a clean, neutral flavor. Adds a little bit of heat because of the, the ABV, but it's coffee and cream, like you get the richness and then you're sipping through the, the, the fatty cream. I like. Cheers. On to, what am I making? <laughs> On to the mudslide. This brings me back because I haven't had a mudslide for like 15 plus years. Normally you can blend them, or they, they are blended, but you know, if you blend it with ice, then it's gonna add dilution and it's gonna weaken the flavor. Whereas this recipe, recipe, whereas this recipe, whether as this recipe, whether as, whether this recipe, whether, but this recipe uh, has ice cream in it. So it's gonna add more flavor and creaminess and deliciousness, and it's gonna become more decadent. This contains Baileys. Everyone has a bottle of Baileys lying around in their cupboard, if not their cupboard, their parents' cupboard. And it's, it's probably been sitting there for a while. I know I have absolutely no idea where this bottle of Baileys has come from. I've had it for a while but it still tastes amazing. Like it's, it's, it's Bailey's, it's, it's rich and and creamy. You can't say you can't, you, no one can say you don't like Bailey's. It's, it's yum, but it's sweet. So three scoops, three big scoops. Oh, that's a bit, that's a bit big. Is a scoop a standard measure? Like, who knows? Three scoops of ice cream. Let's take this down, don't be silly. One ounce, 30 ml of Bailey's Irish cream. It has to be Bailey's. There's no replacement for Bailey's. There's, there are, but they're not the same. Then we have vodka. I'm using, again, kettle one. 
one ounce, 30 mil. And then Mr. Black, cold brew coffee liqueur, one ounce, 30 mil. And that's it. How simple is that? Give it a blend. Vitamix blend is <laughs> so good. Uh, I could probably do this more ice cream. What do you think? Yeah, I want to I thicken that up. The title of the video is Decadent Cocktails. More ice cream. If anyone's looking to buy a blender and they don't mind spending a little bit of money because you're going to keep the blender for your life, the Vitamix. This is like, I think this is like a base bottle. It's still expensive, but they are fantastic and blends the hell out of everything. This is really thick, but I definitely do not have the volume to fill this glass. I'm going to change my glassware over because it's definitely not going to fill that. And I even have reservations about if it's going to fill this glass. It's coming close. I'm happy with that. Just think about how much ice cream I put into that. To be rich, creamy, that could dark chocolate over the top, grated finely, and a straw with this one. The weight of the straw, like, kind of still floated, becomes so thick. Frozen mudslide. Cheers. The first cocktail I made, I said it was going to be the most decadent, but this is just so much richer. There's so much ice cream in there. Bailey's, I think the coffee is, it's there, but it's a little bit more subtle because you got so much creaminess from the Bailey's and the ice cream. But the, the coffee's nice, but... Whoa, that is rich, and I'm going to have to go for a run after drinking this. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the decadent cocktails for, from today, I also have some festive winter cocktails. Make sure you try the Tom and Jerry from my last video. You can check it out here.